In this video, I'm going to show you how to withdraw your crypto to a wallet and how to withdraw fiat to a bank account or a card with the Binance Exchange. For more information, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. If you've been holding your crypto for a while and you've sold it for a fiat currency, but you're not too sure how to withdraw this to your card or your bank account, we're going to show you that today. Or if you're holding your crypto for the long term and you want more control over your crypto by withdrawing it to the likes of a wallet with access to your private keys, we'll also show you how to do this. And I'll have a timeline in the summary below so that you can just jump to specific parts of the tutorial. First, we're going to start with how to withdraw your crypto to a bank account or a card. And this is under the assumption that you've already sold your crypto for a fiat currency like GBP, US dollars or euros. Because as you may be already aware, your bank account can't accept crypto and you're going to need to swap it or sell it for fiat currency first. If you're not too sure how to sell your crypto, then I've got a full exchange tutorial available showing you exactly how to do this. But essentially, you're going to need to find a fiat market for your crypto and then sell. When you sell your crypto for fiat and the Binance Exchange, you'll find this in your wallet. And then if you head to Fiat and Spot, as you can see from here, this is where you can deposit and withdraw. And this will then display a list of all your available fiat and crypto balances. And you can either search for your currency or you can scroll down under fiat balances. Now I'm from the UK, so I'm going to be showing you GBP now. And just be aware that your withdrawal method will depend on your currency or your location. So if I click on to withdraw beside GBP, from here you can see that GBP is selected as my currency to withdraw. And the only option I have here is bank card, and that does incur a 1% fee. It usually takes around 5 minutes, however it can take up to 24 hours. And there are some other methods to withdraw to, and these may be available depending on the time that you're watching this video. You can check out the rest of the methods and all the fees that are available for all the different currencies on their fees page. So let's choose continue, where you'll then be prompted to enter in your cart details. And these must be in the name of your account as you're unable to edit the name. You'll then need to enter in all the details, which includes the card number, expiry date and security code. Then you'll need to add in your billing address and country. Then simply enter in the amount that you'd like to withdraw. And there's a minimum amount here of £10, and I've got a maximum of 4500 And you'll then see my card selected, and a summary and your transaction fee will then display below. Once completed, your card will then be funded with your withdrawal. And just make sure that your card is crypto-friendly, as many banks, especially in the UK, do sometimes reject these. So next, let's take a look at withdrawing your crypto instead, as it's not recommended to keep your crypto on an exchange long term, as without access to your private keys, you're essentially entrusting a third party with your crypto. And an exchange with lots of assets on them is a far more likely target for hackers. Some of the safest wallets are hardware wallets like a Ledger or a Trezor, who often run offers on their devices, which may change depending on the time that you're watching this video. But we'll always have the latest offers on our deals and promotions page at everybithelps.co.uk. Now I'm going to be showing you how to withdraw Bitcoin now to a hardware wallet, which is going to be my Ledger Nano X. Plus I'm going to show you how to withdraw to the likes of a Metamask wallet too. And again, this is under the assumption that you already have traded for your crypto, but you can check out our guides how to buy if you're unsure. From the main Binance screen, let's head across to Wallet, and then Fiat and Spot for our deposits and withdrawals. And we'll then see a list of all our available fiat and crypto balances. I've got some Bitcoin that I'd like to withdraw. So if I search for BTC in the search bar and then choose withdraw. From the withdrawal screen, here you'll see the coin that you're withdrawing. And underneath is where you can enter the address of where you're sending it to. As I explained, this is going to be my Ledger hardware wallet. So I'm just going to need to head across to Ledger Live now and go to receive on the left. Select Bitcoin and choose my account. And once I've connected up my device, I can then copy the address here 
or I could use the QR code with a mobile device. Now if I head back to Binance and paste that into the recipient field, as you can see, the network has now been automatically matched to the Bitcoin network because you can only send Bitcoin to that network. However, sometimes some crypto can be sent on multiple networks and you'll need to make sure that you select the correct one and that the wallet or the platform that you're sending this crypto to also supports it. And I'm gonna show you an example of a crypto that can be sent on more than one chain or network in a moment. And in here, it'll also show you the fees and an approximate transfer time or arrival time. Plus you can also check out their fees on their site too, which is on a crypto by crypto basis. If you wish to continue, you can then enter the amount that you'd like to withdraw or you can click onto max. You'll then be prompted with your security verification prompts to withdraw. And I personally use YubiKeys by Yubico here as an extra level of security. So that's how you can withdraw your Bitcoin to the likes of a hardware wallet. But now I'm gonna quickly show you the process of withdrawing to a Metamask wallet, which is essentially the same process, but I'm gonna show you on another network now. So I've got some AVAX or Avalanche tokens on the Binance exchange that I'd like to withdraw and send across to my Metamask wallet. So first, I'll need to copy my Metamask wallet address by clicking onto the address that is appearing under my account at the top of the screen here. And you'll also see that my Metamask wallet is connected to the Avalanche network. And this is important because I want to withdraw my tokens from Binance using this network in the same way that I withdrew my tokens on the Bitcoin network a moment ago. Now, if you are withdrawing crypto to Metamask on different blockchains or networks, you might have to manually set these up. And I've got tutorials and step-by-step -step guides showing you how to do this with Avalanche, Polygon and the Binance Smart Chain. But from the withdrawal screen on Binance, we'll need to paste in our Metamask address that we just copied. And under the network drop down here, there are two different networks which are available for my Avalanche tokens. And these are either the Binance Smart Chain or AVAX C Chain. Because as I explained earlier, some crypto coins can be sent on more than one network. But as I showed a moment ago, my Metamask wallet is currently connected to the Avalanche network. And if I chose the wrong network and accidentally chose the Binance Smart Chain by mistake, it can be a little bit tricky to resolve. So you will want to make sure that you get the right network here, which is going to be AVAXC. And it shows me the transaction or the arrival time and the fees. I'm going to be withdrawing one AVAX now. Then if I submit my withdrawal and head back to Metamask. And as you can see, that's now transferred and showing up in my Metamask wallet. And now that I have funds in my wallet, I could then use that balance to use DeFi applications on the Avalanche network, for example. But that concludes how to withdraw from Binance. And there is a lot more to Binance than just withdrawing, buying or trading your tokens. They also have the likes of their Binance Earn program that allows you to deposit your tokens and earn an interest from them. And if you don't already have a Binance account, then as I said, I've got a link in the summary below that'll get you 25% off your training fees and up to a $50 sign up bonus. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.